Good morning, dear hearts. We are at lesson 152. Not a giant stride, but one of my faves. Okay. Um, the power of decision is my own. I love this lesson. Um, and one of the reasons I love this lesson is because it, uh, it showed up when I was going through a difficult time about 10 or so years ago, and it really sunk deep into me and allowed me to shift my thoughts. And so every time I come to this lesson now in my yearly um, commitment to the workbook, it's like I go even deeper and I just appreciate this lesson so much. Now, the first paragraph of this lesson, and that's what I, I want to read to you, even though I don't usually do them, but here we go. No one can suffer loss unless it be his own decision. No one suffers pain except his choice elects this state for him. No one can grieve nor fear nor think him sick unless these are the outcomes that he wants and no one dies without his own consent. Nothing occurs but represents your wish and nothing is omitted that you choose. Here is your world, complete in all details. Here is the whole reality for you, and it is only here salvation is. It is only here your freedom is. It is only here that your joy and your happiness is. This lesson also has uh, the line in it, and it repeats it several times, that truth is true and nothing else is true. And it explains that, um, that phrase and how the first part and, and the second part must be, in, uh, be, must be cohesive in order for it to truly make sense. Okay, truth is like love, it's whole. Okay, it is unchanging. And the only love that is real is God's love, and that is unchanging. If I love you today and I don't love you tomorrow because of something that you did, then it wasn't love to begin with. But that doesn't mean that I approve of everyone's actions. It just means I get to still love them through their actions and not to withdraw my love, just like my children, okay? Think of a, a small child, and if this, you, you love the child as much as you possibly can, full-heartedly, and then the child does something like, ah, burn down the kitchen. Okay, do you stop loving the child? No, you just, you accept that child for who they are, and you continue to love them. You don't condone what they did, you just realize that they are still whole and true and the perfect child of God, no matter how they are acting out. This is, and this is our choice. This is our choice. This is why the power of decision is my own, because in every single situation, I am constantly choosing between heaven and hell. Again, that's what this lesson is telling me. So when I do not like something, I get to choose again. Because as, was, as it says, um, blah, 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 where, that, that uh, no one dies of his own consent and nothing that you um, omitted and nothing is omitted that you choose. I need to highlight that so I can find it quicker. Okay, nothing is omitted that you choose, all right? And it's very much like um, uh, there's a, a prayer on page 448, I believe, in the text that tells me that everything I ask for and I receive exactly as I have asked. So this, this is how, you know, the workbook, again, is the practical part of the course, the the text is the theoretical, okay? So this is taking that theoretical idea and making it very practical of how I get to apply it. Practice, five minutes in the morning, five minutes uh, before bed, hourly. Again, this is going to be how we practice for the next, who knows how long, maybe the rest of the year. Um, Okay, but certainly for now. Okay, and as we go into practice each 
time, we say, the power of decision is my own. This day, I will accept myself as what my Father's will created me to be. I accept myself, and that is not arrogance, which is something else this lesson addresses, but this is the humility of realizing that no matter what, you are God's child. You are perfect in and of yourself, okay? As is everyone else. And again, this does not condone bad actions, which we, are, we see around us in this world, okay? It doesn't condone bad actions, but we get to see past the actions. We get to see the light in everyone. And, um, and in our practices, we ask our self, our higher self, to reveal his self, herself to us. This is how we practice today. Um, I hope this helped. I uh, hope you are getting into the depth of these lessons, okay? Um, and I hope you share. I hope you subscribe. And I hope you are here tomorrow. Namaste.